Expansion wave. When supersonic flow is turned away from itself, an expansion wave is formed. Here, the surface is deflected downward away from the main bulk of flow above the surface. This change in flow direction takes place across an expansion wave at the center point. Away from the surface, this oblique expansion wave fans out as shown in the figure. The flow streamlines are smoothly curved through the expansion fan until they are all parallel is also uniform and parallel in the direction of theta. In contrast to this continuities across a shock wave, all flow properties through an expansion wave change smoothly and continuously with the exception of the wall streamlines which changes discontinuously at point center Across the expansion wave, the Mach number increases and the pressure, temperature, density decreases. Shock Expansion Theory The shock and expansion wave allow the exact calculation of the aerodynamic force on many type of 2D supersonic airfoils made up of straight line segment. For example, Consider the symmetrical diamond-shaped airfoil at zero angle of attack as shown in the figure. The supersonic flow is first compressed and deflected through the angle E by an oblique shock wave at the leading edge. At mid-chord, the flow is expanded through an angle of 2E by the expansion wave, hence the surface pressure on segment A and C are found from oblique shock theory and on segment B and D from parental mayer expansion theory. At zero angle of attack, the only aerodynamic force on the diamond airfoil will be drag. The lift is zero because the pressure distribution on the top and bottom surfaces are the same. Parental mayer expansion waves or a fan. When a supersonic flow is turned away from itself, an expansion wave is formed, as shown in the sketch. Expansion waves are the antithesis of shock waves. To appreciate this more fully, some qualities aspects of flow through an expansion waves are atomized as M2 is always greater than M1 and expansion corner is a means to increase the flow Mach number. Streamlines through an expansion waves are smooth curved lines. Since the expansion takes place through a continuous succession of Mach waves and d is equals to zero, for each half the expansion is isentropic. Prandtl in 1907 followed by Mayer in 1908 first worked out the theory for such a supersonic flow. It is denoted as Prandtl expansion wave. Mach reflection. For incident shock with an upstream Mach number of M1, theta is smaller than theta max, and hence the incident shock is allowable straight oblique shock solution. This straight incident shock is sketched as in the figure. On the other hand, when the flow in region 2 at Mach number M2 wants to again deflect through the angle theta via the reflected shock, it finds that theta is greater than theta max for M2 and a regular deflection is not possible. Instead, a normal shock is formed at the upper wall to allow the streamline to continue parallel to the wall. Away from the wall, this normal shock transits to a curved shock which intersects the incident shock with the curved transits into a curved shock which intersects the incident shock with curved reflected shock propagating downstream. This shock pattern is sketched in figure and is labeled as Mach reflection. The Mach reflection is characterized by large region of subsonic flow behind the normal or near normal shocks. Intersection of shocks of opposite families. Consider the intersection of left and right running shocks as sketched in figure. Both are incident shocks and correspond to deflection theta 2 and theta 3 respectively. These shocks continues as the refracted shock C and D downstream of the intersection at point E. Assume theta 2 greater than theta 3, then shock A is stronger than B, and a streamline going through the shock system E and C 
experience a different entropy change than the streamline going through the shock system, BND. Therefore, the entropy in the region 4 and 4 dash is different. Consequently, the dividing streamline EF between these two regions is a streamline across which the entropy changes discontinuously such a line is defined as a slip line. However, on a physical basis, these are the conditions must hold across the slip line as the pressure must be the same otherwise the slip line would be curved inconsistent with the geometry. The velocities in the different regions must be in the same direction although they are in general different in magnitude. These two conditions along with the known properties in region as well as the known theta 2 and theta 3 completely determine the shock intersection. And also note that the temperature and density as well as the entropy and velocity magnitude are different in region 4 and 4 dash. Intersection of shocks of the same family. Consider a streamline passing through region 1, 2 and 3. The pressure and flow direction in region 3 are P3 and theta 3 respectively and are determined by the upstream condition in region 1 as well as the deflection angles theta 2 and theta 3 properties in region 3 are the processed by the dual shocks AC and BC. On the other hand, consider a streamline passing through region 1 and 5. The pressure and flow direction in region 5 are P5 and theta 5 respectively. Properties in region 5 are processed by the single shock CD. Therefore, the entropy change across this single shock will be different than across the two shocks and hence a slip line must exist downstream, originating at the intersection point C. If no other wave existed in the system, this would require P5 equals to P3 and theta 5 equals to theta 3 simultaneously. However, it is generally not possible to find a single shock CD that will give simultaneously the same pressure and flow deflection as two intermediate shocks AC and BC with both systems starting from the same upstream conditions in region 1. Therefore, nature removed this problem by creating a weak reflected wave from the intersection point C. Depending on the upstream conditions and theta 1 and theta 2, this reflected wave CE may be weak shock or expansion wave. Its purpose is to process the flow in region 4 such that P4 equals to P5 and theta 4 equals to theta 5 simultaneously, thus satisfying the necessary physical condition across the slip line.